It was a year ago on Michigan This Morning that we introduced you to Gaylord Snowman Cam, a webcam ranked among the top 25 in the world. Well, now there's so much more to add to its growing legacy. Ben Kwan reports. I don't think anybody would have believed it 10 years ago. Not in a million years could you make friends with a snowman, and you still can't. But there's a place near Gaylord where you can meet new friends because of a snowman. Julie Moore, and I live in Rochester, Pennsylvania. My name's Emma. Johnson. Literally, I've seen people stay in for hours on end looking at the scene. It's the world famous snowman cam created by Ken and Cheryl Borton. Last year, it was just getting started. This summer, they added a chat room that hundreds have joined. And just when I think that we've gone as far as we can with this, somebody else comes up with another idea and I give it a try. And just a year later, who knew that snowman here would get this huge through the eyes of a camera lens and all the way out? to the rest of the world. And not just across northern Michigan, say a mere 90 miles away here in our newsroom, but one place in particular we'd like to point out. All the way down here, 850 miles away, in Lafette, Georgia. The people in the room have created the community themselves. On a recent Sunday, Emma Johnson from Lafette, Georgia, Jewel Moore of Pennsylvania, and Scott McGillis of Lansing were chatting together when Emma fell ill. I was getting sicker by the moment. We could tell that, you know, she was getting worse quickly. Emma blacked out. And what could her friends do staring at computer screens hundreds of miles away? And that's what I decided, man, we've really got to do something for her. Something's got to be done. Scott called 911 and helped get Emma some help. That saved her life. I can say that much. They are heroes. Friends helping friends they couldn't recognize in the same room. Friends brought together by a northern Michigan snowman. This is the best thing that could have come out of this as far as I'm concerned. Near Gaylord, I'm Ben Kwan for Michigan This Morning. Paramedics told Emma that she had she not had the support of her online friends, she could have died from low levels of sugar and potassium in her bloodstream. And this story first aired last night on Fox 33 News at 10, where you can catch all your local news produced by us here at Northern Michigan's News Leader in prime time. All right, and... Uh... Plenty more opportunities to make snowmen out there. It's just no end to uh, the cold anytime soon. We are looking at a warm-up uh, 